The travel time geocoder macro can be used to convert addresses into lat-long coordinates. And it can be also used to reverse geocode and turn lat-long coordinates into addresses. So we'll look at those two use cases one after another. So to access a geocoder from Alteryx, you can either get it from the travel time platform set of tools, or we can simply search for it up here. Drag it onto the workflow. Then as an input, it can either use a text input or a file input. I'm going to start with a file. So I'm going to connect to an Excel spreadsheet that I have that has a few hundred UK postcodes listed in it. So we've now got this file of postcodes pulled through. We then need to configure the geocoder by clicking on it. The first thing we need to do is to enter our API key details. And you can always find your API key details by logging into your travel time account. On the configuration tab, this is where we choose between standard geocoding, i.e. going from address to coordinates, or reverse geocoding, going from coordinates to an address. So we're going to start with standard, and we pick the postcode field as the address field that we want to geocode. On the basic tab, we can then narrow it down by selecting a specific country. So I know that all of these locations are in the UK. So I'm going to say only return results in the United Kingdom. We can also ask it to return multiple matches for each record if it finds them. But here I'm just going to choose just the best match for each address in the input. Then we add our browse tools and run the workflow. So down the bottom, you can see the sort of progress of each batch being sent to the geocoder. So this is a almost 500 addresses. So we'll just take a few seconds to convert them all into coordinates. So it's finished running. And if we click on our successful browse tool, we get the output shown in two ways. On the right hand side in the table, each row is one of our addresses with our new lat long coordinates added and some other sort of broader address information. We also get our map view where if we add a, a base map, we can then see these points displayed on, on the map. So that's the standard geocoding going from address to coordinates. We'll now take a look at reverse geocoding. So this time I'm going to use a text input. And I'm just going to add two simple fields for my lat long coordinates. So I open up the geocoder again. I don't need to put my API key details in again. This time I select reverse and I select the lat long fields from my input. Again, I'll leave this as United Kingdom and click run. And if we click on our successful output, Again, we get it displayed as a point on the map, but in our output this time, we have the, the full street address that corresponds to the lat long coordinates we entered. So that's how to use the geocoder and it's perfect, particularly standard geocoding for converting addresses into coordinates. So you can then use them in conjunction with the other travel time macros.